then I just wanted to take a moment to fill you in on where we're at with the Colorado Trail, what happened uh, after the end of the last video, and uh, kind of where we left off with the hike. Um, so we had left off the last video at the end of segment 24, which was Stony Pass. Sorry, the end of segment 23, start of segment 24, which was Stony Pass. And it was still, you could tell that there was um, weather that was starting to hit. There was snow like on the far mountains and we had been getting hit with a little bit of sprinkles of snow, but nothing really that serious. And that was at the end of August um, when we had filmed that video. And then September came along and we had kind of a lot of obligations um, at home and work to take care of. Uh, Kent was moving into a new apartment, so we had to take a weekend to move him in. And I had a warrior dash for work that I had signed up for that I had to do. And then there was a wedding in Oklahoma I had to go to. Um, and so at the end of September, I got kind of fed up with it and I took time off work. And I was going to leave on a Tuesday night and finish on a Sunday night. Um, I was going to go from Silverton to Durango and it was going to be by myself, uh, but I was going to get it done. And then that Monday, uh, the day before I was set to leave, it started to snow in the San Juans and it wasn't forecasted to stop until that Friday. So it had been a day of snow and I was checking the snow tell reports and a lot of the ones along the Colorado Trail, like near to where I'd be hiking, had said that there were zero feet of snow, zero feet, two feet, zero feet, whatever. Um, but then there were some that were saying six feet, which were a little further off the trail, but there was one that had said that. And so I kind of figured I don't know exactly how much snow different sections of the trail will have. And I reached out to a few people. Jabba had just finished his hike. Um, my friend Greg had just gotten off trail. My friend Chelsea, Bill Manning, Zach, like I talked to a bunch of people on you know, that had done that section. Cause I didn't know, are there ridges? Is it steep? Is it dangerous? Or is it just uncomfortable? Um, Cause if it's uncomfortable, that's one thing. If it's dangerous, that's another. And I, the overall conclusion was that because it's not done snowing, you don't know how much you're gonna get. And you're gonna have to hike through it, not knowing how much you're getting. And with it just pounding down on you, you're not gonna get a break from it. It's gonna be dangerous. There are parts that are sketchy. And the overall advice was just, don't be stupid. Don't try it. Um, so I booked a flight to New York instead and I went home and I saw my parents and that was really nice. Um, I was really bummed out about the snow. I knew it was a possibility, but it was, if I had left one week earlier, um, if I had taken those days off one week sooner, it would have been the complete difference between me finishing this year and me having to wait till next year to finish. Um, so that was really disheartening, but it's okay. It's a section hike and it's not all meant to be done in one year. And I kind of was a bit of a psychopath by trying to do it. Um, so it was, yeah, it was fun while it was and I'll finish it next year. And in the meantime, there will definitely be videos for you to watch that will keep you entertained. Um, so thank you for watching these ones and I live in Denver, so I will be back out there um, in the fall, but I might have something else in the summer that will be keeping me a bit more entertained. Um, and so, yeah, that's where we're at with the Colorado Trail.